Hi everyone and welcome to Resin Dragon Studios. In today's video, I want to show you a very basic jig that you can do if you're a beginner with lasers. So I'm going to demonstrate this today with a 4x4 coaster design. And you will want to use this for when you need repeatability and consistency in size and center points. So what you're going to need is a honeycomb working panel, some honeycomb pins, and go grab some cardboard from your recent Amazon order and let's go. First, use something to hold the cardboard in place on your honeycomb. You can use a wide variety of pins. Um, I just happen to have the X-Tool magnetic pins, um, but there are a wide variety of pins. Some people even 3D print their own. Um, so we're just gonna pin down the first three sides. Um, and we're gonna leave the left-hand side open so that when we have to move the laser, the laser head doesn't actually bump into any of the pins. So we are all pinned down. Oops, this one, not so much. There we go. <laughs> all right, so we are all pinned down and we're gonna move the laser head manually to the center of our cardboard. Okay, and then this will be the last time that you will actually move the head outside of focusing because this is going to be your zero. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna focus our laser. So you're gonna put your kickstand down and you're gonna loosen the pin. All right, and when it feels like the kickstand is touching your material, you're gonna go ahead and tighten your pin and move your um, your kickstand. So now we are focused and I'm going to take you over to Lightburn to show you how to draw and cut your square. Okay, now we are in Lightburn and we are going to use the square drawing tool to draw our 4x4 square. So I did the calculations ahead of time because this is in millimeters and 4x4 would be 101.6 millimeters. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the unlock button so that you can change both the width and the height to 101.6. And then relock it. So now we have a perfect four by four square. Next, we are going to set our laser settings. So we're gonna go to cuts and layers and you're gonna choose your speed and your power I have chosen 500 millimeters per minute and 90% power to cut our square out of our cardboard. And now we're gonna frame it up and we are going to cut it out. Okay, so now we have everything in place. We're just gonna frame it up in light burn and we are going to cut it. So the first thing we're gonna do is in light burn, we are going to hit frame and make sure that everything looks okay and that it is all lined up. All right, that actually looks really good. So now what we're gonna do is just go to start and we are going to cut out our four by four square. Don't worry, if it says the cut might be out of bounds, continue anyway. This pops up a lot, so we're just gonna click yes because we know we're in bounds. We've already framed it. All right, so now we have a perfect four by four square. What we're gonna do to get the laser head out of the way, we're not gonna move it manually, okay? So we're gonna go back to light burn and you can see here we have this move option. I've already set the distance to 50 millimeters. So we're just gonna move the laser head up 50 millimeters, okay? And now it is out of the way, so I can pluck out this uh, little square here. And it's very important to note that you don't actually move your cardboard piece um, after your square is cut out because that will mess up all of your alignment, okay? So just make sure you don't move your cardboard. Now what we're gonna do is take our little tile and we're gonna go ahead and plop it right in there in that square, okay? 
Something else that's very important. Now we have to refocus, okay? But before we do that, we gotta get the laser head back where it's zero is. So we actually have to raise this back up without moving the X or Y axes. So very carefully, you're going to loosen your head. You're gonna bring it up so that it, you know that it'll at least clear the tile and lock it back down, okay? We are locked back down, and now we are gonna go into light burn and we're gonna tell it to go to zero, okay? So now we are at zero, which is the corner of the tile. Now we need to focus it, so how do we do that? What we're gonna do is we're now gonna take it again and we're gonna move the laser head down 15 millimeters so that we can get on top of our tile. Very carefully, again, without moving your X and Y axes, you are going to put your kickstand down, loosen your screw here until the kickstand is safely on the material, lock it down, move your kickstand out of the way. Now we are refocused for the tile. Go back to light burn and hit go to zero. Now we're perfectly aligned to the top left hand corner of our tile. And you want to make sure that your start from here in light burn says current position and that it is clicked here in the top left hand corner. So now you are going to leave your square in light burn and you are going to input your image to the inside of this square. So you're going to click import. These are my project folders. Open it up. Now, as you can see, it's pretty darn big. <laughs> so you need to resize it so that it fits inside of your square. Now, remember, our 4x4 four four square is 101 millimeters 0.6. So we know we have to be under that. Let's choose 90 millimeters. That looks pretty good. Now on your selection tool, you're gonna highlight both images, both your square and your imported image. And you're gonna click on this target looking icon to align both vertical and horizontal centers. There's no reason for you to do this manually. Lightburn does it for you. So just go ahead and click it. And voila, it is now centered. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is click on your imported image and put that on a different cut layer. Now that you've done that, click back to your square and you're gonna turn the output off. You don't want the laser to recut your square. So that's what you're gonna do is just turn output off. You can leave show on so that you can still see your borderline and know that you're well within it, okay? Click on your next layer, double click, and now we're gonna set our speed and power settings. Now, I have already done a speed test on these um, ceramic tiles, so I already know what setting is good for me. You're gonna have to run your own tests to find out what looks good for you and your laser. Um, but for mine, it is 3,000 millimeters per minute, and the power is 90%. I'm gonna click OK. Wanna make sure that I have line on and not fill, because we don't want it to fill in, we want this to be an outline. And now we are going to frame it up and start the engrave. All right, we are back at our laser and we're gonna frame it up and make sure that everything looks good and then we're gonna go ahead and engrave. So let's go over here to frame and light burn. It is well within our parameters, so we are looking great. We are gonna go ahead and start this engrave. Let's first turn on our exhaust and our air assist. And we're gonna start our project. All right, now when it is done, again, we are going to use light burn to move the head out of the way so that we can pluck out our coaster, okay? So let's go back to Lightburn. Gonna go to the Move tab. 
We are gonna move this head up 50 millimeters, okay? It is now out of the way. Our project is done, so we're gonna just pluck them out. Be very careful. Check it out. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna just place our next coaster in, just like that. Go back to Lightburn and click go to zero. And there you go. Once you take it back to its original position, you're now allowing for repeatability, right? So you're moving the head out of the way within Lightburn, you're going back to the original um, position, and now all we have to do is load up another project. So now what I do, um, I just go ahead and delete this out, like that, and we are gonna import the very next one. Okay, again, it's very big. Resize. Select all. Still too big, right? No problem. There we are. We have to go ahead and make this another layer again. And look at that, our setting stayed. <laughs> so again, make sure that your square is off and that your engraving is on. And we're gonna frame it up and get it going. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and start the job. All right, check it out. So, just like before, we are not gonna manually move that laser head, okay? So we're gonna go to move 50 millimeters up, okay? Now we can pluck out our project, take a look at it. Ah, oh, so cool, I love it so much. This would make a really cool like label, right? For like a bottle, that would be really cool. All right, and then one more time. Now, if you wanted to keep going, obviously you could do the same thing, move your head out of the way, um, but we're gonna go ahead and stop at three. I think that's a really good magic number, um, but for the, Get that out, show you our last project. I mean, easy peasy, right? I think this is one of the simpler um, jig formats that I've seen so far. And as I learn more, I will definitely share with you guys um, more information as I learn it and more um, advanced ways. But for now, I think this is pretty good, especially for a hobbyist. All right, thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something today, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, I hope I've earned your subscription. In a world full of great ideas, what will you create next? See you next time.